right. We're in the ring. We're, we're in the ring. <laughs> Give me, got a question first about that first taste of fame. Now, with LA Law, let's go back just for a few years for a minute. How overwhelming was it when that show became a hit for you? It, it was, uh, it wasn't, you know, I had shot the pilot and then went to go do a, a film afterwards. I was involved in a movie that John Schlesinger directed. And, and then the pilot came on, we were shooting episodes, and it just like took off. It, it just mm -hmm. took off and it, it was a very exciting, strange time because I wasn't used to, uh, <laughs> I wasn't used to a lot, of, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, oh. especially. Yeah. Well, did you, do you I don't think I handled it very well either. I mean, I tried, but. Uh, well, do people still come up to you and ask you for legal advice? <laughs> no, but you know what, what's happened is that I've, I've and, and great satisfaction I have from this, that, that I've met people uh, that have come up to me and say, and have said, you know, I'm a lawyer now because LA Law influenced me and it made me, you know, decide to go into law school. <laughs> That, that's, you know, that's a, I don't know, that TV is, is a, it's a very powerful medium that can have an effects like that. Well, well turning to this movie, the, this whole thing about, you know, your character's kind of micromanaging your son's careers and all that. Uh, I'm just curious, when, when you want to become an actor, now your family, I, I know they didn't micromanage your career, but, but, but how much knowledge do they have about show business and were they kind of wary about you even going into that line of work? Well, Mark, they were very wary. They, uh, they really don't have, my family doesn't have any kind of uh, inkling as to how the industry actually operates. And they would always, they would come to see plays that I would be in, whether it be in, in, in graduate school or in you know, stock theater or off-Broadway, mm -hmm. and would always wonder, oh, it was really good work, but everybody really talks very strange in those Shakespeare plays. That Shakespeare guy, he wrote, hmm, I don't know, <laughs> very emotional. But th their thing was like, so when are you going to do a toothpaste commercial or something like that? That was the validation that, that I had made it. You know, it's, they're very happy, needless to say, they're very happy now for all, all, the, all the success and the blessings. Yeah. Well, surreal scenes to shoot in this film. Now, the, the boxing scenes when you're you know, outside the ring yelling, now, how hoarse did you get during those scenes? And uh, uh, did you ever feel sorry for the extras that were watching and just watching you do take after take of that? Well, it, it, I really did lose my voice a couple of times, especially in the, in the last sequences that you see in the film uh, that, that are a, a kind of a championship bout that the oldest son that John Seda portrays. Mm -hmm is involved in this spot. I, we were shouting, sh we were shooting, we were shooting and I was <laughs> shouting at the Los Angeles Forum. That's where it took place. Yeah. And uh, that, that particular scene took like three days to film. And after the second day, I was chugging down honey or doing whatever I could so that I wouldn't, wouldn't be hoarse. Because you really do kind of like get into it. You know, some of the best scenes in the film are, are you with, with the little kids, the child actors. Now, I'm just curious, how aware were they of your body of work? And they were totally unaware of, of my body of work, which I think was really good. What helped us all as a cast, but specifically with the young youngsters, was that we, we all trained together for about six weeks prior mm -hmm. to the film because there was a, each set of, each son, the three sons, and you see them in two different stages when they're very young and when they're older. But each of them have a kind of boxing match uh, or involved in boxing in some way. So there was choreography that each of them had to learn, plus getting their bodies in shape and learning how, you know, the, the regiments of the boxing. And I partook in that uh, in an active way because I thought it would be kind of bogus to just, you know, just bark orders at them. And it kind of, it was, it, I think it helped because it really unified us as a cast. But as far as them knowing anything about my work as an actor, no. Nah. The older one of the three, of the youngest set, the older one, he's acted much more than the other two have. Uh, the other two actually have had no acting experience, but this other one has been around the block, so he, he knew more or less that I had been in <laughs> on different TV shows. 